Hi, and welcome back to The Watch Report powered by Watchbox. I'm your host, Zach Rego, and today we're gonna cover some recent news in the watch industry. What do Cindy Crawford, Nicole Kidman, Alessandra Ambrosio, and Leo Shi Shi have in common? You guessed it, they are all ambassadors for Omega. These stars came together in Shanghai for the unveiling of the new Manhattan Constellation line for women. This iconic watch was originally introduced in 1982 and is known for the four bars at the three and nine o'clock, which used to ensure that the watch was waterproof, but now are simply part of the aesthetic look of the watch. There are over 100 different models being introduced. So whether you like an all rose gold watch with diamonds on a blue dial, or you like something made out of cheese and velvet, I'm sure Omega has just the watch for you. Two men were found guilty of armed robbery of the jewelry store Mappin and Webbs in Scotland. Richard Fleming and Liam Richardson were sentenced to a combined 29 years of jail time for the violent robbery of 50 of the 51 Rolexes on display, worth a total of roughly 600,000 US dollars. Fleming personally threatened the employees of the store with a gun, a machete, and a hammer. Now, I understand the saying that a Rolex costs an arm and a leg, but bringing a machete with you to get one is taking the saying to a whole nother level. Thankfully, no one was severely injured during the robbery, and the store has said they will be implementing a new policy where customers must leave all guns, machetes, and hammers at the door before entering. Elanga and Zona has just released the new Datagraph Updown Lumen, which is limited to just 200 pieces. The most interesting part of the watch is the semi-transparent dial and mostly luminous display which gives off a beautiful green hue. This 41mm platinum watch is perfect for those special occasions when you lose power in your house. And now, Celebrity Watches. Cristiano Ronaldo was seen wearing a Frank Muller invisible set tourbillon with diamonds and rubies worth roughly $1.2 million. I personally love this watch because it's super practical and isn't in your face like so many other million dollar diamond and ruby tourbillons. Wahlberg was spotted wearing a white gold Rolex GMT Master II with a pave diamond dial and blue sapphire bezel, reference 116759SA, which retails for roughly 77,000 US dollars. Between him and Ronaldo, there seems to be a lot of diamonds on watches lately. I guess you could say that Marky Mark's hamburger business is really cooking. You know, because of his, his burger restaurant. <laughs> you guys can edit that out, right? Congratulations to last week's contest winner, Andres Gutierrez, for being the first to correctly guess the Richard Mille RM11 Felipe Massa flyback chronograph I was wearing in last week's episode. The first person to comment the correct brand and reference of the watch I am wearing this week will be getting some free watch wag sent their way. I'm Zach Rego, and this has been The Watch Report. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to click the bell for the latest updates in watch content. Thanks for watching and see you next week.